Hello everyone. One of the things I absolutely love is Louis Vuitton and I've enjoyed watching all the videos on what's in my bag whether it's a Louis or not. But one thing when I was specifically looking at what's in my Louis Vuitton bags I noticed that many people who had done them on the Speedies. And I got a Speedy not too long ago and have already done the video on what's in my Speedy. I still carry her. I love her so much. I think she's a great size. It's the, the structure is sturdy. It's just a classic and it would never bother me if I saw tons of people with it. I just would identify going, that person has great taste in bags. It is extremely functional. It has taught me a lot about what's important for me, what I carry in a bag. And I say that because in the past I would get bags that had tons of compartments and tons of pockets thinking that was going to be the most helpful to me, who always want to work on organization, having what I need when I went, need it and when I need it. And But I found just the big hole has been a big... Uh, a big benefit to me and the hole in that is just usually left just a big pocket here and things can get lost in it and if you watch the other videos they can give you lots of clues on how it works for some people and how it doesn't work for some people well your influence on me has been tremendous because from watching the videos another type of what's in my bag that I've seen pretty often is the never full and I've stuck with this pattern because this is um that a bean again and it's the Damier. I like it because it is dark it will go with everything I like the dark straps do not show the weathering I can be I'm pretty tough on my bags that's another reason I love it they're structured I don't feel like I have to be so kind towards it although I do take good care of them and I also love the red on the inside so I found that I did that a lot okay so you see a lot on the never full so I don't need to do the bag reviews on those because there's too many good ones out there already and yet another one too is another bag that I've seen a few on which is the clutch and yes it was your videos that talked me into getting the clutch I wanted to get the monogram that's a traditional print much like you see on my wappity case here I loved it I loved that it. it had a really thin type of uh, marking it was similar to this it's, it was beautiful, absolutely beautiful, but I'm going to explain why I went with this one as time goes. I'm going to explain it because I want you to see what I, what I want today's video to be on is how we take these pieces that several of us have and make it useful in different settings and, and in different events that we have to go to. So I found this really helpful to me and I just wanted to share that with you. I want to start with the Neverfull because it is truly as it says a never full you don't need the review on that I realize because there's lots out there I just wanted to add that um, I have found I do like the big bag but that's my personal style I have from eBay purchased the base and I find that at times I really like it if I'm not carrying very much I do want to use it but if I carry a lot I find it really doesn't sag that much anyway and I really don't mind the sagging plus when you wear the bag, I like it to fit nice and snug. And if this base is in the bottom, it does stick out some. Again, it's a personal preference. It's fine. It works either way. Uh, one of the things that I love about it is this big pocket that you see here. And it has the zipper. And one of the things, I know it's made to hold a wallet. And I think that's a good idea since things can easily get lost. But the checkbook that I don't use that often, um, it's nice to keep that in there and it's a place where I can um, have that and, and use often, or, or from the, the few times that I need it rather. But a lot of times I find I use this more as a briefcase. I can uh, put my water in there, I can put my, com my laptop computer in there and still carry my other daily essentials if I want. Or I can add this bag and where I go to work, it will fit nicely into the bag. And if I go across campus or going to run a quick errand, it's heavy to carry this big bag. So I can use this baby right here. And I love her a lot. And she, she works well on many accounts and many reasons because I can use her as a little bag. And I can show you uh, very quickly, if I may, what all I can put in it to help me out if I want it to be just... Um, added to another bag. It does have the strap and it does have a little wallet and in my wallet I can easily keep extra cash. I can put some of the things that are in this coin purse such as some of my 
um, credit cards, debit cards, I can put those in there if I want to. And it's already in here, and then it's already in my bag, and so I find that's helpful. And so I can, I usually leave this long strap with it. I've heard that it's longer than some of you like. You find it that it fits um, pretty low on you. I'm a short person and for some reason it doesn't bother me. I like it that way. I like it to fit lower so it's not a problem. But one of the reasons I chose this pattern again is because it does go with the Neverfull and I like the stark strap. I like that it's not going to show weather, so that's why I went to it. And again, I just adore the red on the inside. I think it's beautiful. One of the ideas I had is we, if you have a pochette, and so if I wanted a different pattern, most of my pochettes are of this monogram that looks like this and not this checkered a bean. I, you can take this part off. Right now I use it to hold a lot of essentials a pen, lotion, uh, miscellaneous items that I really want to have carried with me. And so whichever bag I'm carrying, whether it's my Speedy or whether it's my Neverfull, it transitions back and forth very well. But if I ever wanted to use this as a little handbag, this comes off and it detaches here. I'm hopeful you can see it. There's really no harm into leaving it on. I'm going to do that because I feel like I'm taking too long. But one of the things my daughter did was attach it like that. I think that's really cute. I'm sure it was designed that way, and I just never thought to do that until she did that. But I'm just leaving it on for time's sake. And my strap that I got from my Eva, Eva Clutch, I'm going to now put that on. And I know that the monogram print would have come with a lighter strap, but when I tried it on, I actually like it with the dark strap, and I think it's nice. So if I'm just gonna run across campus, I can maybe take the little wallet out, stick it in here, stick it in my pochette, just carry that around, cross body or otherwise, and it just gives me access to another bag. I thought it was fun. I, I, um, I've used it a few times like that. I find that it, um, I'm not trying to be confusing, I just think that these pieces are pretty interchangeable in many ways. And another example of that, back to my Eva clutch, I'm going to zip it up. It does detach on one area and it can easily go into the D-ring on your Neverfull, if I can locate it. It fits nicely here so it's easy to locate. Also, the Speedy has the D-ring also that you can attach, here it is, the Eva Clutch in. So the Eva Clutch could just be used as a makeup bag or to hold some other essentials all the time. I don't use it for that unless I'm carrying it with my Neverfull. I don't use it with my Speedy, except for when I am traveling. And when I am traveling, I can put my little items here, have it attached inside of the Speedy, and then I can uh, take it out if I just want to run in someplace and purchase something. So, um, somebody just walked in, and so I'm actually very distracted now at this point. But lastly, I want to show you what else I think goes great into the Eva bag. <laughs> this little wallet, as I mentioned, or this little <laughs> Um, coin purse pochette because it works very well as a wallet. I don't like to fill it up too much because it can make it very thick, but I'm going to use that in there also. Oh, I always have this out. It's perfect to put on D-rings or outside of your bag. But I'm going to put it inside there. I have my gum, my money's in there, and I have a chapstick and a lipstick, so I can only attach that to a bag have that on there and once I take it out of my speedy I can use it to help. Thanks so much for this time. I hope it's been of help. Enjoy.